Hey there, it's RJ Redden with Black Belt Bots and welcome grasshoppers to another episode. Today we are going to talk about how to make a great big impact with chatbots. I talk with people all the time and my clients always have consistently one question. RJ, how do I make a big impact with my chatbot? Okay. There are a ton of answers to these questions. Uh, hey, Google it and tell me how many results you get. There's a ton of answers out there, a lot of them technological. But I'm going to say this, before you even start with the technology, before you even start with a marketing funnel or a Facebook ads or a click funnels or whatever you're going to do, start with this first. I want you to care. That's it. I want you to care about the experience that your people are having when they go through the bot. Notice I didn't call them clients. I didn't call them customers. I didn't call them sales. I didn't call them, I didn't call them anything like that. I called them people because they are people. They're people with preconceived notions who have questions. Some of them don't even realize they're in a chat bot or what it is yet. You are going to have all kinds of people uh, rolling through that chat bot and you want to care about the experience that they are having. You want to try to think around every corner. You want to anticipate questions. You want to anticipate problems and you want to create secondary paths that help people that help people get where they're going. They help people get back on track. If they're, if they're off track in your bot, you want to do this. Why? Because what this creates is an experience where people feel cared about. When people feel cared about, they're going to come back to your bot every time. You'll have fewer people unsubscribing. You'll have more people picking up that phone whenever it buzzes and going, oh, what's, what's Black Bell Bots doing? I want to be involved in their world. That is what you want. That is the value of a bot. That is where you'll have the greatest impact. Not with driving 4,000 people in there overnight. No, darlings. No, darlings. Because then that's 4,000 conversations, right? I don't need that many people to drive my business. I don't. I need much less than that, but I need a dedicated people group of people who care about what I'm doing enough to tune in. That's what I want to cater to. Those are the people that I want to, I want them to feel cared about, like they've had a great experience. I anticipate their questions and I answered their, those questions within the bot. I was doing a bot just yesterday for a direct sales uh, client of mine. She has a team that she does a lot of trainings on her chat bot and she presented the information. I do little flash trainings for her. So she gave me all the information in the training and then she gave me the frequently asked questions that she knew people were going to come up with. Hallelujah. Um, this is the gold mine. This is the gold mine. When you can come up with those questions, when you can test through the bot and say, oh, you know what? I don't know if everybody would know what that word that I just, that highly technological word that I just used means. Let's go back and reword this. Or this leads to a dead end and I didn't mean that to happen. Let's create something different here. Or what if somebody has a lot of questions right here? What do I do then? Listen, if you can care about the experience that they are having, if you can think about, have that intention in your head when you start that you are going to have a conversation with people. It's going to start online with your bot, but it's going to end in some kind of a face-to-face -face conversation. If you are using your bot to get to know more people so that you can figure out who you want to collaborate, collaborate with, do business with, this. These are the bots that create big impact. These are the bots that drive a community around them. If those are the things that you want, uh, then you have, you're going to have a bot that makes a big impact. You're going to have a bot that draws people in and keeps them. Uh, you will have fewer unsubscribes. I promise you bots are so novel right now. You know, it's so cool to, you know, be in a bot and, oh, look, I can answer questions and ask them and get information. This is so cool. Yeah, listen, the day is coming where that novelty is going to wear off. Is your bot going to be ready for that? 
six months from now, nine months from now, a year from now. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm totally guessing here. But people will start to be used to this phenomenon. And then the the things that people are doing right now, a lot of the sort of uh, hmm, the more... Uh, non-savory habits that people have about getting people on lists and things like that, that stuff is, is not going to survive very long in our world. Facebook doesn't want it. You know what? I don't think people want it either. I think people are tired of being sold to. I know I am being tired of being sold to. I want to be cared about. I want to develop that no like, and trust factor with people, whether I'm in their chat bot or they're in mine, I want to develop a relationship. That's what my business is built on, solid relationships. So when that novelty runs off, I want you to have a chat bot that really, ha that stands out among the others. And the way to do that is to care, care about the experience your people are having. Think around the corners, try to answer every question they might have. And I realize it's completely impossible to anticipate everything. So get a buddy, get two buddies, get three, get a circle of people that you check things with, that you have conversations with regularly about, you know, can you test this and can you tell me what works and what doesn't work? You know what? When I ask people to test for me, I will also ask them specific questions because I will get so much golden feedback out of that. Really just landing stuff in people's lap and saying, hey, test this for me and tell me what you think. They're probably going to give you some nice compliments because they love you and they're your friends. But if you have some really good questions in there, some thought-provoking things, then you will really get feedback that's actionable and will make your bot better. Work through every problem they might have. Yesterday I had somebody uh, talk to me about some problems that they were having and it, you know we we ended up thinking about a workaround and and that's what happens most times there's always a workaround there's always another path to lead people down uh but sometimes it takes more brains than just one more sets of eyeballs than just one anyway i will now sum it up for you giving them information fine fantastic make sure it's valuable Giving them your personality, you definitely want to do that. That builds that no like and trust factor. But if you can make them feel cared about, that's priceless. That's priceless. Do that. And you will make a big impact with your bot. So if you liked this video, I like you back. Hey, hit subscribe, hit like, share this. Share with other people if you feel like it's informative. Awesome stuff. If you are interested in some templates, uh, some getting started with bots uh, in a really quick and easy way, I've got some templates on my website. Uh, all of that stuff, those links will be below. Uh, and so hit those links, explore around. I've got some free ones. I've got some ones for sale. You can get started with bots right away. You can get started with bots today if you want to start today. And that's all I have for you for now. I will be back with another video in another few days because that's how my life rolls. And I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I want to thank you for being part of my community. And I'll see you in a bot.